do you think? Hello? Can I borrow one of your cushions? Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Go <laughs> ahead. So we don't know where else to go in this game, but that's the problem. Is there something I need to do? Something I need to say? So I can't leave this area, that's the problem. Is there something else I need to do here? There are so many dead ends to this game. First of all, if we put yes but in on the first choice, and now we've got this dead end to where we can't actually progress through here. We take it, we're just going to get a game over screen. Try and leave here, it's just not going to happen. What else can I do? Literally, what else can I do here? Apart from not actually coming here, that would be the best course of action. What is that? Upon approaching the window, yeah. Again? I should just get this over with. Another hide and, hide and seek thing. Any more times? Now what, I recall reading about paranormal lore from various cultures the other day. Now let me see. Banshee, no. Black Dog, we're going to be not. Doloha, a, a, a headless fairy. That would explain the large quantities of blood oozing from our flower beds, but probably not. Still, if it's a harbinger of death, does that mean I can kill it? No, I suppose not. Well, regardless, I should to make sure that it doesn't do any more damage. This certainly would be of no assistance. Old journal. Maybe being armed with knowledge first would be the best course of action. Otherwise, we're just going to go around in a purgatory. There are certain spots in this game where if you actually save, you're pretty much screwed. Because the choice you make from earlier, or the lack of choices you make, determine that sort of outcome. I know it's just 40 minutes down there, but I've been in this game a lot longer than just 40 minutes. <laughs> it left. Can't go back. Also, let's just get this cutscene done and over with. Not here either. There's a fountain here, and we can throw a coin into the fountain. I'm sure no one will miss it. Okay. Large sum of flowers. Pass through here. Thing is, I don't see a fountain over there. But this is a fountain, most certainly. Decrepted flower. Oh, it the water is too much to see through. Found paper scrap for. Oh, we missed a paper scrap, haven't we? Um, keep paper scrap here. Yeah. So we're missing a paper scrap. Approach the fountain. Noel, upon approaching the crumbling stone fountain, was confused as to why such a structure had been inserted in the first place. Closer, edging closer towards the direct derelict's fountain, Noel gazed solemnly at his shrouded reflection. It's pretty to look at, but I'd best be going. Perhaps something fell in. Approach the fountain. Look closer. Nothing's here. Something feels off here. Well, looks like that's taken care of. 
I don't think it'll be a bother to anyone ever again. For goodness sakes. But Guy's not here anymore. We didn't even... Okay. Take the act. I threw this into in the lake. What was it doing back here? Leave. Well, I accomplished nothing. But at least I don't have to tend to broken bones this time. Still, I can't help but feel as if something's off. Well, we're glad we're back here. But with nothing accomplished, what shall we do? Sleep. I don't feel like sleeping. But you wanted to sleep earlier. What can we do now? I feel like we take so many avenues, but yet. Okay, mirror. Nothing on the mirror. A cabinet. It appears to not be used for a long amount of time. And you don't feel like sleeping as well. What about if we go back through this way? Leave. Perhaps it would help if I were to wander the house. Um, inside the manor living room. Okie dokie. Just check everything thoroughly. Cabinet. Can't check the cabinet. Leave. So we're back here. Let's save because this could be a divergence point. Inside the manor kitchen. There's more options there as well, actually. Look around a bit. It is visually beautiful, the game. I'm not going to lie. It is beautiful. But the choice is given to the player, sometimes you can go to an absolute dead end, with no point of return. Let's leave again, and see... This daunting music is a little... a little unnecessary. Veranda. Here... Nothing here. A solid island railing is forever melding in place. However, it is possible to climb past it. Gravestones? That's new. I don't think I'm home anymore. I do wonder how that got there. I've been here plenty of times, but this is definitely a first. I'm absolutely certain there was no cemetery anywhere near here. Yes. This must be a dream. Maybe I've been asleep this whole time. Hmm? What the? Wow. I really must be dead or something. I really must be dead or something, I think. Oh, look at who finally decides to drop in. What am I, you say? Why, well, I'm nothing more than a dear old friend, of course. Pardon my reputation, repetition, but am I dreaming? I do admit this isn't the first time I've talked with a faceless girl, however. Hmm, what a life you've been leading. I will take that as an affirmation. So, since I haven't had a dream this vivid in a while... What do you suppose I should do? It's up to you. Whatever you say is the law here. Dream, nightmare, life, death, no matter what. I'm here to follow your wishes. Essentially, I'm here to provide guidance. Really? Let's just say I have a job to finish. And I can't do that without your help. Oh well. In that case... No, absolutely not. As I recall, whatever I say is the law. I'd rather not expand all that effort on such a useless task. Why, you obscene little... You need my help? And since this is my dream, I find that to be quite absurd. Unbelievable. I have never met anyone this infuriatingly lazy. Can you budge at least a smidge? 
If you explain what you are exactly, miss, I'll be glad to help. Terrible. Is that all? I could simply wake up on my own, but I must admit my curiosity plagues. Fine, I'll tell you, but only if you figure out my name. Miss Annabelle? Great, wait, what? Miss Annabelle, as far as I know, that is your name, correct? Well, yes, but... What gave it away? Was I that obvious? Yes. Now that we've got that obvious out of the way, can I wake up? No, don't you want to explore your dream? What could be more exciting than that? Dying. You know what? I had enough of your sass, actually. How did you do that? You looked rather cool as a silhouette. Magic. Moving on, why don't you do some exploring? I would prefer not to. I've done enough exploring here. Look, we could do it your way, but I really do need your help. I find that hard to believe, miss. Well, it's true. And besides, we're friends. Doesn't that mean something to you? A friend? Who snuck into my own dream? Well, it sounds bad when you put it that way, but I abs mean absolutely no harm. That's what they all say. It might not mean much to you, but trust me, when I, I when I say I have your best in intentions at heart, think of it this way. Doesn't a graveyard adventure sound fun? No. What if I say it'll benefit you in, in the long run? No. Help me or I will haunt you for now and eternity. I have more than enough time. Deal. Great, it's nice to see we finally come to an agreement. Ah. Oh. So, what do I do now? Oh, nothing much. Why don't you just walk around and talk to people? That should be easy enough for you to handle. Interact with the ghosts of your past. Make amends. Atone, apologize, reconcile, appease. And how will this help me? No matter how I see it, you're beyond salvation. But doing all of this should give some sense of normality to this fun little adventure of yours. If what you're saying is true, why would you go for all this effort? Like I said, I merely want to help my dear friend. I find that hard to believe. You could choose whether or not to believe me, but hear this. You're no good to me dead. I'm not very good to anyone alive either. Oh, I know. But I have sown to help you. It wouldn't do us any good if I were to break my promise. So I think we've talked enough. If you need any help, don't ask me for it. Understand? Of course. Oh, and before I leave, catch! Receive a skull. Also, here's some parting advice. Don't trust everyone you see here. Well, don't trust anyone except me, of course. And not everything you find here will be useful. Anyway, catch you later. Wow. Okay, but what do I do here now? Ah, we can go up and down, it seems. Hmm, enemies? Hmm. Upon stepping in front of a willowy mask of smoke, the horned figure brings its mask down to communicate. Raising his eerie, expressionless, pale face towards and away from Noel, its actions is all too clear. Perhaps the horned, humanoid spectra had grown bored of hovering over a nameless grave. Uh, Binding glancing back at the tall, shadowy figure, Noel merely waved his hand in parting. However, before Noel could leave, the masked figure materialized from the shadow, narrowing his vision. Allow a peculiar masked figure to accompany you. Okay. Now we are guided by the damned. What's that over there? And who are you? A tall figure is situated in between these two graves. It appears to be tapping at its feet in anxious trepidation. I've lost my head. Would you be so kind as to fetch me a replacement? Of course. Wait, my head? That's much better. Here, you can have this. Received an eyeball. 
So we trade a skull for an eyeball. Okay. Nice. And you up here? I'm rather tired. Mine acting as my eyes while I doze off, of course. I haven't had a good set of eyes in ages. Yeah, I thought that as much. So we've got one eyeball. If we get another eyeball, will that mean that that figure won't kill me, but we can just give it two set two eyes, sorry? There's a haze over here. Well, this is certainly surreal. How uneventful. I'll just be going now. Can you, you deliver this? Despite being unconscious, they have surprisingly good aim. Received a turnip. Though, this had better not turn into a scavenger hunt. There's two different sets of eyes here. Isn't it a bit odd to have such a plain old coffin above ground? Maybe. Maybe not. I'm going to avoid those two ghosts. But this graveyard adventure is surely hellish like. Um, nothing up here. Okay, go up here. Oh, there's an eye here. Upon approaching the rather plain grave, a huge eye can be seen hovering directly in front of it. Surreally enough, it even appeared to perk up upon seeing a new face. Perhaps isolation has taken a heavy toll on it. Say, since there's nothing to do around here, let's play a game. If you get all three questions right, you get a fabulous prize. And if you lose, well, I'll chop you up and make a nice stew. So what do you say? It's not like I have anything to lose. Yep, okay, first up. One day you stumble upon a ghastly scene. An atrocious crime has been committed. Before you were the remnants of not a murder, but a slaughter. Who were the victims? Well, the only ones we can say are um, not cool. Like, how am I meant to know that? The only bird which is mentioned in this game are magpies. So how am I actually meant to know? Do you what? Forget it. I don't like cryptic puzzles anyway, so we're going to avoid that eye. If we not approach the sort of a weeping apparition, it would be nigh impossible to spot. Excuse me, is everything all right? No, don't mind. Oh, don't mind me. Please, just leave. Okay. Well, it's disappeared now, so that's okay. Let's go back to our bloody eye friend and see if we can actually get a question right. So how am I actually meant to know the question's answer if you don't give me any bloody hints? You know, it's one thing to give me clues, but it doesn't actually make any sense. Try this again. One day you stumble on a ghastly scene, treasures are crime committed, before you were venomous of not, of a, not a murder, but a slaughterer who were the victims. Riddles of some sorts. The only ones which are not part of the Crow family are owls. But still. It could be, be a case of being unlucky. But that would also mean if you see a single magpie, then there's a cast of unluckiness anyways. Crows. On to the next one. Upon wandering into a small, dimly lit room, you come across a tall mirror precariously latched onto its thin walls. While, me while walking towards it, you realize you have no reflection. What is the reason? You could say that I don't exist or a mirror spake, but you could also say it's a trick question. Close but not... Oh, gosh sakes. Maybe it's because I don't even exist. 
correct. Let's move on to the final question. Once upon a time, a certain someone who was tried and sent to the gallows. Such was the cause of lies and thieves upon their death, something was stolen from them. Upon their death, something was stolen from them, sorry. Um, like, I know I'm gonna die here. Crows. I don't exist. Their left hand. That is correct. Congratulations, here's your prize. Received a severed left hand. Wait, that's it. That's my prize. For all that, I. Okay, fine. I'm not going to question the logic behind that puzzle, but oh well. But also, another thing to put into mind is that you probably need some sort of background knowledge behind the topics in hand if you're going to be able to get them correct off a first hand. Otherwise, you're just going to have to keep going through trial and error to try and get more correct. Smiley face. A dissembled head is floating above the grave. Alarmingly enough, it's happy. Oh, hello there. You can have this. I don't want it. Received severed right hand. Thank you. It's exactly what I always wanted. Can I burn this? No, you cannot burn it. We need both. We need both hands. Are we making up an entire body as we go along here? We've got an eyeball. Then we got... A severed left hand, severed right hand. We're looking for an arm of some sorts, probably. Uh, haziness here. Deliver this. Turnip. Then there are these up here, which I have still have no idea about. Okay, I don't see why not. Give a right hand. Upon any of the appendages, a small blooded heart can be seen nearly placed on this cold earth. Received a heart. It's still beating. What I need is another eye. Like, I can't give you one eyeball. So that's why you have to personally dissect my two eyeballs for you to see well. So we need to get another eyeball from somewhere. But where exactly is the good question? Somewhere in this graveyard there should be another shadowy figure. Now, apart from the one behind me, obviously. It's very difficult to see where you can walk and where you can't walk. Like some areas should look like you can walk through them, but actually you can't. Hmm. I suppose that could be an RPG maker limitation, but I highly doubt because you can simply move anywheres. And in certain games you can have glitches where you can walk up walls and such. That such a thing exists, but you know. It's all good and fun. Okay, there's a figure here. I don't even know what to do with this turnip. Maybe they want it. Excuse me, but would you happen to need this turnip? Oh, good grief. So that's where he went. I'm not even going to question anything at this point. Right, before you go, please take this uh, total of my a glass eyeball. Is that going to be close enough towards what we need? A real eyeball and a glass eyeball. Okay. I'm not going to question anything. Oh, what's up here? What is that up there? Well, the entrance is here, but I haven't spoken with everyone yet. I'll come back later. I thought I have spoken to everyone. But one of them wants to take my eyeballs out. Okay, so we've got a glass eye, it's very transparent, and an eyeball, it's real. But that doesn't... The thing is, right, a glass eyeball doesn't actually have a purpose of a real eyeball. 
or maybe just maybe it will work but we just need to see if it actually does work at first at first sight okay so we're far left of the graveyard here's the big tombstone I'm gonna save beforehand I'm rather tired my, accept my exception to give a glass eye a vial of blood okay so that's what it was thank you goody good goody goody gumdrops so let's go back now and see what we can do see what we can do now that we're going to be going towards the entrance hmm. so I've spoken to everyone not everyone can be trusted wait hold on um, we can walk on this particular grave so that's something to implement Implement, dear, very, very kind developer. Uh, I can't go this way. Dear, dear, Noel Senpai. Timeline Senpai. Wait, well, I can't go up that way. Well, 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 it's about time you showed up. Who's speaking to me? Ah, Annabelle's here. And here I thought you finally kicked the bucket. But enough of that, who's your friend? I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. Quiet, aren't they? They stopped talking a while ago. Hmm, I see. Man, that head of yours really is hollow. If you're done gloating, will you finally leave me alone? <laughs> what kind of girl would I be to go back on my promises? Sure, I'll leave you alone. But I'm not sure what good it'll do for you at this point. Anyway... I've wasted too much time on you already. There's some other business I've been meaning to take care of. So, if you'll be a gentleman and, hu and hum humor my final requests, follow me. Okay. Leave. This graveyard dream. Back. Still with a shadowy figure here. Seems to be a straight line, which is very nice. Howdy. Man, you're slow. Hello, miss. You gotta admit, this is some dream, right? Just look up there. Look up where? It's a church of some sorts. Or a cathedral. Anywhere with tombstones and graves echoed everywhere. Now I'm tired. I really expected you'd be rid of them by this point. Unfortunately not, miss. At least it looks cool. Right. Anyway, it looks like this is a farewell for now. It's about as far as I can go. I see. Why exactly are you so dead set on helping me again, miss? Let's just say I feel like we'd be great friends. I mean, helping you is part of the job description, but I'd say anything else is a bonus. You shouldn't waste your time on me, miss. I'm not worth saving. Monsters are meant to exist. That's why I... I hate myself most of all. We're definitely going to need to work on that. I don't care whether or not you think you're a monster, Noel. I only hate humans, which you most certainly are not. See, that's why I believe we're perfect for each other. More importantly, I've never had a friend close to my own age. Call it a hunch, but I'm sure we have so much in common. Miss Annabelle, I don't mean to be rude, but are you worrying? You are worrying me. I give her a lot. Dolly noted. Oh, by the way, items you find here won't carry over, so it's best if you just hand them over to me now. Your friend won't be able to come along either, so I'd say my farewells if I were you. Like that vial you're holding, Noel. Wouldn't I just lose this upon waking up? Well, yes, but you're holding too much stuff right now. These aren't heavy, I can manage. I know that, 
but you don't strike me at being the type to be overly fond of blood or carnage. Most aren't into that. Most aren't into that sort of thing, I presume. Well, just hand it over if you want to wake up sometime within the next five years. Give up a vial of blood. Okay, fine. Great, thanks. Don't mind me, I just love the sound of breaking glass. Is that why you wanted it? Of course. You're such a child, miss. Shut up! Man, I wish I could come along with you. Why don't you? I just can't. Oh, what a shame. You're not going to say your reasons as to why you cannot, or is it just going to be the absolute case? Leave. Goodbye, miss. Bye, Noel. Let's meet up again sometime. I see. I see. Not I will see. Ooh. Strange. This really is such an odd memory to be dreaming of now. I'm not sure why I am entirely I mean, even dyed my head in this town. This is one memory I would be fine with forgetting. Wow, look at Noel this time around. I this place is peculiar. Even for me, this has been a rather odd turn of events. Time was something that always eluded me, but this was back when I used to listlessly travel around the countryside. Before I followed this dusty old journal and stumbled upon grandmother's house, before when I could stand, well, before when I could stand to go outside, before I realised how bored I was with my life, around this time I never stayed in one place for long. But I must admit I was happy with this kind of life back then. From what I could recall, I ventured into this town during the height of its fall harvest. Full harvest. Autumn harvest. Even back then, I never saw the appeal of celebrations, but keeping my gaze downward and covering my head with a black cloth I had recently purchased, I made my way into the unusually colourful town. It seemed harmless enough, but I found so I had soon found out the townspeople had been caused in the midst of a witch hunt. Not wanting to stay a moment longer, I had made the decision to leave during the night. But by then I realised I was the only one alive. At that moment I made my mind to help everyone. This seems like too much effort for a mere dream. I could just find the nearest clip to jump off of. But I'm compelled to see where this takes me. Miss Annabelle's enthusiasm must be contagious. What a bother. This is really becoming rather tedious. What a pain. Aww, oh, a lovely, cute new outfit. Help me. Stab the crimson figure. Ignoring the blurred figures, please to help. Noah plunge the dagger swiftly to its chest. Farewell. Help me. He doesn't actually do that. And we can't run here either. Yeah, it doesn't really work like that, I don't think. Or maybe that feature is not yet put into the game. Yeah, it happens with everyone. You can't run either, so that's it at all. This is some dream, or should I say nightmare. This town, like so many others I'd travelled to, had long been ruined. Could a cause have been a curse? A curse that had long since permeated the soil. The soil the town's foundations were built upon. A curse that was cursed, caused by me. A certain someone once said that the ground we tread upon absorbs all the blood and lives lost throughout unmeasurable generations. A certain someone whose hair had long since decomposed and skin had turned to dust. A certain someone who died long before I was born. I hate this. This is why I hate reminiscing. This always, always makes me so sentimental. Sentimental. This town is endless. Can I just go back? No, I can't go back. Hey, nice mask. Thank you. What a joyful harvest. Right. 
The key to happy life are uninformity, conformity, and solitary. Any rule breakers will be swiftly executed. Well, that's me then for all three of us. It's a shame the guillotine was vandalized. Our lovely harvest doesn't feel the same without it. I don't want to die. But you're gonna. Did you hear? They're going to execute the witch. I can't wait. We haven't had a public execution in ages. Your mask is too orate. You'll stand out. Hey, leave my and my lovely masquerade mask alone. I look beautiful. And no one can say I'm not otherwise. You stand out too much. Try fitting in, unless you'd like to be the next harvest sacrifice. I'll be glad. Is it dead? Disgusting. Why hasn't anyone got rid of it yet? Hideous. They better clean all this blood off the streets. Disgusting. Okay. Yeah, I can't go into those places, so I'm glad. Although I must say there are like little lines that appear on the screen as well. Like it's one map on the left side and this one on here is a completely different map. I absolutely loathe how fake everything here feels. But there's nothing else I can do at this point except to march on. March on. Evening already. What's now gonna happen? Ooh. No one's here. They're all probably at the witch's execution. Where else will this lead? No entrance as a source, and I would like to be able to run. Hmm. I can't go past this area. Just go through here then. That sounds like a great idea. Ruby, you don't say why you can't go through that other area. That was unpleasant. Oh, but it looks like I'm at Lilia's again. It's been a while. I'm really going to miss that cape. Hi there. Who are you? Well, well, well. Look at who the cat dragged in. A lost sheep. <laughs> Hello, Lilia. Leah. You're losing your flair. Hey, is that meant to be a joke? You're losing your flair, Miss Witch. Oh, how cruel. You wound me. Still, it's nice of you to so kindly drop in. It's a shame you don't visit me often. Apologies. I would if I could. Oh, nonsense. You don't have to lie to me. After all, we both know how much you hate me. Unfortunately, there's nothing we can do about that. You're stuck with me forever. I don't hate you. You're such a good kid. You don't have to spare my feelings, you know. Anyway, what brought you to my personal se section of the afterlife? Finally getting bored of that fairy tale life you're living? Oh, and how are your little doll friends doing? They're fine, miss. And I'm not entirely sure. I've been trying to wake up, but to no success. I keep running into distractions. Well, up on the bright side, at least you're finally getting exercise. How did you like it here so far? I absolutely love it. I'd much rather wake up and go back to my normal life. You mean staring at dusty furniture and talking to inanimate objects all day? Those pumpkins will talk to me one day. Just one of these days, one of them will talk. Not every that journal is true, you know. However, at least I personally include entries in there just to mess with you. It seems as if you're growing weary of talking to me. Enough chatter. I can have you wake up now if you so desire. Actually, please wait. Oh, what could it be this time? There was a strange girl I met again earlier. Do you, by happen, do you by any chance happen to know her? 
My life doesn't revolve complete around you, dear. There are more important matters I have been telling to beside the child who chooses to live in his own fabricated reality. What you're saying, miss, is that I should leave? Oh, I don't know. Why don't you check your pockets? A train ticket and a silver bullet? If he really wants to leave this dream world, well, the rest is up to you. It's amazing what the conductor would accept as currency. Though considering what they do, I suppose, it shouldn't come to a surprise that they know so many people. Just who is she, miss? And why me? Ah, uh, would you look at the time? You're free to browse my selection of books before you leave. Thank you, miss. No trouble at all, dearie. Though let's catch up on lost time in the future, of course. What you would say. <laughs> Go there. Books on fairy tales. I don't have enough time to read for all these. Fiction books. The Telltale Heart, The Fall of the House of Asher. Oh, Miss Lilia even keeps poetry books here. Spell books. Oh dear, please don't touch those. Sorry, Miss. A wide assortment of books. Does she even organise these? A wide assortment of books. It has a face on it. That's new. Be careful, it could bite off your hand. Right. The Idiot's Guide to Murder. Why do you have this? Why not? Yeah, why not? Books on cryptozoology, demonology, and parasphology. Didn't pronounce that correctly. Rows and rows of multicolored books. Unfortunately, they're much too high up for you to reach. Yeah, because I'm too short. Unfortunately, they're too high for you to reach. Rows and rows of multicolored books, too high for you to reach. A riddle booker. Book on fairy tales, I don't have enough time to read for all these. A photo album. I've never seen anything quite like this. Yeah, so I wouldn't peg photos as common around here. Are they all dead? Honestly? What is it with you kids and death nowadays? <laughs> Variety books. Picture book. Found paper scrap six. Nice. A witch. Is that who they really think is responsible to, responsible for all those these murders and dis, disappearances? I must be the only one here with a shard, a shred of common sense. The last witch sighting was over a century ago. If anything, it's one of those weird cults again. To think a bunch of clowns run this wretched facility. Hmm. But that journal did mention a wish-granting woodland witch. Hmm. But if it is true, maybe she'll grant my wish. Keep paper scrap, definitely. Divine it. I don't know how to pronounce words today. Does it really work, Mr. Lily? What do you think, dear? History books. I am not historically accurate. Ask Lily a question. Do you need anything, dear? I've been wondering. Where did you get all these books from? The store? Can I go to the store yet? Yeah, are you finished reading? Hmm. And shouldn't rats, uh, like, glowing line appear below? Lilla? Yes, miss. Thank you. There is no need to thank me. Farewell now, dear. And same to you, Miss Lilla. Hmm. <laughs> Where shall our adventures take us, sister? I'm back. I have to get all this blood on first, but it's a shame. This is my favourite coat. Why am I all wretched and blurred? Why am I all in blurred? That axe has gone as well. I'm not going to ask ask any questions as to how that was there. Head back home, most certainly. My webcam's a little bright, but it's just going to have to do for now. And that should be everything. But what should I do now? I don't know, maybe sleep? Let's check everything again. <laughs> it's paper scrap time. I'm going to be going through the game and finding all seven paper scraps in Chapter Zero Build of Time Alley. Enjoy the footage. <laughs> A discarded book found paper scrap one. I really need to fix that journal's binding. Its pages always fall out. 
Noel. Noel, don't. Don't climb up there, it's dangerous. I'll be fine. There's a book sticking out of the top shelf. Your guardians will be furious if they find out you're being reckless again. Then please don't tell them. Consider a request with sparkles. This is odd. Do you by any chance happen to believe in magic? Magic? Did you hit your head on the way up there? Is it fine if I borrow this? Sure, sure. Just get down from there. If you get hurt, they'll mount my head on a stick and throw it off a cliff. My consolidants. I shall pray for you in your next life. Please just get down from there before they see you. Of course. Don't jump! Keep paper scrap. Keep a paper scrap indeed. And here we are. Hang on, let me just see first. Yeah, paper scrap times one. All ends well. But do I want to consider your offer though? That is the question. That is a question indeed, dear Annabelle. Yes, farewell and goodbye to you lovely, lovely troll madam from the demo of Time and I. You remember the demo, she appeared at the end, but that was a troll because she didn't appear at the end at the same time. Anyways, paper scrap number two, and this happens after, as you can see, when you part ways with Annabelle for the first time. Annabelle? Annabella? How do you want to pronounce that? Okay, so interact with this doll. Take the doll. Follow me, Truffles. You shouldn't be out here anyway. The doll is clutching a small piece of parchment. Found paper scrap number two. Hashtag doll, maybe. But for some silly old journal, this is actually incredibly well made. I wonder who this belonged to. Can't be anyone I've ever met, I presume. After all, I was just sent here. I wonder how long it'll be before they grow scared and send me away. For I can't help but hope they'll let me stay. Everyone here is nice, but don't question my red hair, I mean red eyes or hair. They even let me read as many books as I want. Maybe I should listen to the maids. I probably shouldn't read at the top of bookshelves or ladders, even if I never gotten hurt. Oh, someone's calling me. Steak? Just eat your dinner, Noel. But why is it so bloody? Could I please skip to dessert instead? No. Don't you want to grow up big and strong? I'm already strong. Fair point. You can skip dinner this time. Thank you. And what will we be having tonight? Today's dessert dish is blood pudding. Keep scrap paper. Yep. Keep the scrap paper, indeed, we shall need it. Now, does it load up here? Indeed it does, paper scrap times two. All good with that. The third paper scrap in Timeline Chapter Zero can be found just after playing hide and seek and inspecting the bookshelf so that you can see that you need to put the, the journal back in the bookshelf but realize that you don't have anything to climb up to the fifth shelf so therefore you have to look around here into the cabinet to find yourself a rope ladder and a grappling hook okay so in this area we can find the third paper scrap of the game a discarded book that appears to be worn out with age i wish i had more books i only read every book in the house found paper scrap number three don't look so glum boy cheer up Easy for you to say. Maybe if you didn't look so angry, they wouldn't have sent you back here. Or maybe this proves how incompetent you all are. But I wouldn't blame them. I mean, who in their right mind would adopt a red-eyed freak? I would. I would adopt the sheep boy any day of the week. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you were responsible for those string of murders. This must have been just hired they must have just hired him i wonder what happened to the previous one from what i heard i don't even get why you seem to get dumped back at our authority it's not like you'd fit in with us normal people pathetic what was that try speaking up kid 
I said pathetic. I've always wanted to know what being garbage felt like, so please do tell. Keep paper scrap, most certainly. Indeed, 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 it shall be glorious. Paper scrap four. Now, this one particular alone is really tricky. This one and the fifth one, because four and five are right next to each other. So what I'm going to do is save. Now look at this at the moment, paper scrap three. Because sometimes this fourth paper scrap doesn't count within your inventory. So that's why I save before interacting with this particular tile to find paper scrap four. Because sometimes, even though you pick this one up, it still says three if you picked up the previous three. I'm not, lo I'm not joking about this. If I wanted to joke about it, I would do it in a non-professional non manner. Okay. Why? Didn't they believe me? If only I was someone else, then, then maybe I wouldn't always end up alone. I'm trying to keep them safe, and yet, yeah, it's like what those people say way back then. I shouldn't be here. And because of me, they're gone. I really am like those fairy tale creatures in storybooks. I'm like those monsters in that journal. Grandmother's journal is what they said. I wonder what she was like, judging from those stories she left. She, she left, she must have been just like me. I can still change. I may not bring them back, but at least I'll never hurt anyone else ever again. If I follow these instructions, I can make sure I never existed. That no one will have ever heard of my name. Well, Annabella has. Annabelle? Annabella? Keep paper scrap most certainly. Now, this is the trick to this one. So you get different options afterwards. But you don't want to oblige by it because if you interact with it enough, the fountain, then the shadowy figure in the next area will not appear. Also as well, paper scrap number five will not appear as well either. So we want to leave it alone. But first of all, we want to check our key items. And it's got paper scrap four. Okay, so this particular paper scrap may or may not work. So it's a 50-50 chance if it will appear or it will not appear. But I've only had it on number four, but it could appear on other paper scraps, so keep that in mind while going through the game. Okay, so, this is another tricky area. So go here, most certainly. And what we want to do is water in the middle of nowhere. This day is just full of surprises. Now, we do not, by any means necessary we do not want to interact with that shadowy figure before 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 <laughs> we don't want to interact with it before we pick up the fifth paper scrap and let me just show you why because if we interact with a shadowy figure then the only option would be to pick up the axe itself which is not what we want. We don't want to do that. So let's just do this. An old decrepit axe is deeply burrowed into the tree stump. How odd. Found paper scrap number five. So this only appears if we don't interact with the axe after interacting with this shadowy figure. Where are all these coming from? I don't know. Dolls started to appear one by one. Hanging dolls of all different shades of red. The maids have been doing their best to keep me away. But I still find myself wandering off into the doll room. If it weren't for all that red, they'd be pretty. Very pretty indeed. I wonder if I'll ever have this, such a scenery... So, oh, sorry, such a serene face as them. My face is already beautiful. With my lovely white hair. My red overalls. My red eyes. I am the peak of perfection, and you can't judge me otherwise, mere mortals. Anyways, the house has been overrun with dolls, but if I could even comprehend what was happening, I was the only one left in the house of dolls. Maybe join them as a doll. How lovely. How quaint. Everything is just as I've imagined. I hope I never wake up. 
keep paper scrap? Most certainly we want to keep the paper scrap. Now this is for diversions in between the endings, and that's why I created two different save files. As there's only three save slots within the game, to accomplish all three endings, you need one slot for each ending. So, bad ending number one, normal ending number two, true ending number three. Just by that. And from zero to four, it's the bad ending. Five to six is the normal ending. Seven is the true ending. Which is why we're going to apply this save to this one only. But what I want to do first is, yeah, paper scrap number five. Because if that just appeared in number four, this just was all back to the previous save file and go for that. Okay, so now... This is something which cocked up so many people, including myself. And I do not know why this had to be such a horrible task to try and do. Okay, so, interact with a shadowy figure. It's been a while since I've seen a human corpse club close. Though, this in, partic in particular, as far as I know, no one goes into the woods. Well, minus myself, of course, and that strange girl from earlier. Well, I should probably cut him down. There's no use in leaving him all the way out here. Okay, so... We want to pick up the axe. Now, receive the axe. This is where things are going to get... Really... Of a big kick in the teeth. And also, minus the fact that the, um, the animation for the axe and Noel is a bit... It's a bit unrealistic because you actually see the axe in Noel's right hand, which is on near the tip of the axe itself and not bottom of the handle. Whilst in this way it's correct, this way it's incorrect, and the axe should be pointing the other way. Anyways, minor adjustments aside. So, we want to go back to the shadowy individual. So we get three choices. Are you sure there's only three choices? That's the thing. So, the first option is Rope Ladder. Second option is Dagger. Third option is Axe. Fourth option. Blank. Four, fourth option, Blank. This is the key to getting the true ending of the game. You need to select this Blank option. And I would have never of guessed this in my lifetime a secret option select that secret option I would rather not damage the tree or body any further I'll just climb it it's slightly elevated but that shouldn't be a problem Always with the body crunching sound. Ooh, I'm glad I'm quite immune to such minor elements of horror. Okay, so now the shadowy figure's gone, we can proceed on our way. So we've gotten paper scrap number five. That's all good. But if you selected axe, all you would get at this particular part is an ellipsis from Noel. And with the only option to pick up the axe again and meet your demise. So that's how to get round that. And I didn't figure this one out myself. A kind developer provided me with this information. Thank you very much. But it was so cryptic. Like, you wouldn't, you wouldn't think of doing that in the first instance. Anyways, oh well. Leave. Oh dear Lilla. You were a lovely witch. If you really want to leave this dream world, well, the rest is up to you. It's amazing what that conductor will accept as currency, though considering what they do, I suppose, it shouldn't come to a surprise that they know so many people. Just who is she, this? And why we? Oh, would you look at the time? You're free to browse my selection of books before you leave. Thank you, miss. No trouble at all, dearie. So let's catch up on lost time in the future. Of course. Hmm, because these two are lovely, adorable characters. I'm not sure what to say. All these characters are beautiful. In their own lovely ways. 
Anyways, we want to go over here and check one of the bookshelves, because one of the bookshelves over here consists of a lovely paper scrap. This one in particular. Found paper scrap six. I'd love to say this one in particular, but then it doesn't have it. Good on me, anyways. Lovely stars. I just love hearing the piano music. Piano is such a lovely instrument to listen to. A witch. Is that who they really think is responsible for all these murders and disappearances? I must be the only one here with a shred of common sense. The last witch sighting was over a century ago. If anything, it's one of those weird cults again. To think a bunch of clowns run this wretched facility. Hmm, but that journal did mention a wish-granting woodland witch. Hmm, but if it is true... Maybe you should grant my wish. Keep the paper scrap. But that wish was never clarified, dear Noel. <laughs> paper scrap count six. But no, Noel, what should you do now? What we're going to do is pick up the seventh and final paper scrap piece. Because this is going to be the key to getting the true ending of the game, as it were. Found paper scrap number seven. This wasn't here earlier. The sky is painted a vivid shade of red, and the water looks as if the clouds bled crimson paint into it. And yet, it's strangely quiet here. It's reminiscent of the inferno. Nothing makes sense here, though. The trees look peculiarly lively here at the very least, as if their branches could ensnare lost travellers. These trees, they have an almost human quality to them. Could they harbour any more secrets, like the witch's charred bones? I feel as if something's watching me. Perhaps wearing a red cloak makes me stand out too much. Even without it, nothing will change. Would it though? How long have I been wondering? Keep the paper scrap. Now this is where drum rolls will be put into place. Paper scrap number seven. Excellent. So what we're going to be doing now is I'm going to need to play through the game twice more. But it's going to be the case where those twice mores are going to be the case of me not collecting any more paper scraps on the previous two save files. So, I've already set up number one on the course of a bad ending, number two on the course of the normal ending, number three on the course of a true ending, which is why I put all of these endings in three different save files, so it's possible. Leave the room, yes. If I leave, then there's no going back. There's no way I could ever come back here, if I were to leave. But I can't do that. I can't just leave and have my life uprooted by the mere words and warnings of two others. That's it. I'm staying. As much as I'd love to have my wish granted, I can't rely on the words of a dead witch and some strange girl. And who knows what would happen if I were to step outside. I left my world a long time ago. Where would I end up here? I can't deal with witches and magic just... I can deal with witches and magic just fine. But I'd be out of my element out there. More importantly, who am I to forsake the home that grandmother was kind enough to help me create? And for Miss Lilla to help me find? I really am horrible as I say. All I've ever done with this accursed life of mine was run, run and run. If only I were as brave and gallant as those knights. How I too would love to rescue damsels in distress or save villagers from fire breathing dragons. At my core, I'll always be a sheep boy coward. Well, I best forget these events ever happened. Overthinking this will do me no good. 
bad end. Forsaken memories. I feel as if I'm about to commit a grave mistake. A new area. Where are we? Unless we came here, that is. Go through the gate. Here goes nothing. That's odd. I can't open the gate. I don't remember locking this, or are the dolls to blame for this? <laughs> They're exactly how I imagined they'd be. How bothersome. But what do I do anyway? This life is exactly as lovely as I could have ever hoped for. Nothing too bad could ever happen in such a quiet, desolate area. Peace and quiet. This is all I've ever wanted. Seeing so many new faces must have clouded my judgement. After all, my wish has already been granted. I should repay Miss Lilla, but for now, I should head back inside. I wouldn't want to upset anyone further. It's getting late. After all, I still have much to do tomorrow. Like what, for example? Normal and a joyful reverie. The same as again, same as before. Definitely got seven. Can we go a different way? All seven paper scraps. One or seven, yeah. What will I do from here? It's been so long since I've been outside, but... Maybe this will be a nice change of pace. I certainly need a breath of fresh air, and... Perhaps I can get some answers from Annabelle. Annabelle. As much as this pains me, I should just... Leave. The door's not locked this time. It was never healthy of me to look for a place that no longer exists. I must have looked foolish to go on a wild goose chase solely on the writings left of one non dead. Miss Lilla has gotten a good laugh at that. Sure, I've seen my fair share of ghosts and curse, necromancy. I can believe if those cults are anything to go by, but. Am I making the right choice? Well, enough of that. I've said my goodbyes. So I suppose this chapter of my life will come to a close. And chapter zero of that as well, this game. Farewell. True end. Respite of a lost soul. Is that it? See, I told you she'd be fine. You shouldn't have. S you should have seen how worried he was, Annabelle. Seriously, you're going to be the death of me one of these days. Exilly. Don't worry, Rue. Like, don't worry, Rue. Like that. Oh no, I wasn't worried about her at all. Mm, the two other characters of this game. Sure you were. No, not really. Annabelle is a smart girl. She could take care of herself. Sorry guys, I was just catching up with an old friend. Sorry for causing so much trouble. Don't worry about it. I'm just glad you're safe. What friends? Hey! We're both highly complicated individuals, Ruddy. You're not our only friend. I'm not your friend. See, this is why I've always hated you, Rudy. Quit calling me that. Never. That's it, I'm out. We're sorry. Just don't leave. Shut it. Yeah, get lost, Rue. Sis, you're not helping. I know. Hmm? 
look at that. Game art and characters created by Vine, however you want to pronounce it. Oh, this is what we mean by endings of each picture. It's just a scroll through of different characters. Isn't that lovely? Look at all these. Oh, how adorable each character is. <laughs> hmm? BGM classical music sound library. Uh, I forgot the, the name of the, uh, the website you go to, but there's lots of different artworks you can get from there. And this is Noel in that dream he had. Black cloak, black cloaked, black haired, masquerade mask. Sound viable. Vayan's artwork is just so beautiful. Apologies if I don't pronounce it correctly, and I highly doubt that I did pronounce it correctly. Some names are so confusing, okay? Even though they're short, but they're sometimes not. Scripts, those guys. Going downwards. And these two characters we have yet to acquaint with. Probably in chapter one we shall have the utmost honour of acquainting Noel with these two characters. Beta testers. Ah, oh, Choco helped beta test the game. How wonderful. Choco made Desolate Village and are preparing to look at other games for their own future. So I recommend checking out Choco Flan on Tumblr. And other sites as well with Choco Flan. Chapter Zero End. Thanks for playing. Would you like to access a bonus room? Most certainly I would. Ooh. Hi. Noel Res... I really want to pronounce that. Age 12. Height 129 centimeters. Okay. Oh, I see, right. Different characters. Up. Oh, that's a mechanic. I'm going to try and pronounce all that out because it's just going to disappear. Like that. Hi. Yeah, we have yet to see you within the game. Only a true ending's end of this chapter zero. So I wonder where the witch falls in with the other characters. She hasn't got an age or a date of birth, so it's unknown. And... Rudy... Ru whatever you want to call it. Stoian. Climbing out windows to avoid his tutors. That's very bad omen. Never do that. Oh, you can go from here to... The bonus room. Well, I'd love to explore the true ending again. Return to Tyson Train. Absolutely. So that is Chapter Zero of Time Alive. We're going to wait for the next release of this game to proceed through to Chapter One. So thank you very much for watching, guys. That was a very, very good insight to what the story will be. So thank you very much for watching, games. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. I will see each other on the next time of Toy Moai. Have a wonderful day and take care of yourselves.